A home and its interiors are, by nature, such important and personal spaces. Regardless of the economic situation of its occupants or its location, a home is directly reflective of the personalities of each person living there. So to try to cram those aesthetic personalities all into one box and market style seems a fruitless exercise, doesn't it? But to make a space appear cohesive and well-designed, it is important to first come up with a general feel of what you want and style categories can help us get there relatively quickly. Though no one person is going to fall purely 100% into one style, most of us can narrow ourselves down into one or two dominant styles with touches of a couple more. So here are some tips on how to zero in on what decorating styles will work best for you and your household. Step one, find visual inspiration without overthinking. The easiest way to develop a sense of your personal style is to create an inspiration board. As I teach in my course, The Envy Nest Academy, you can do this one of two ways. Number one, what I call the paper doll way, clipping photos from magazines and gluing them onto a physical poster board, or my personal favorite, number two, the geek squad way saving images you like digitally onto a Pinterest board or a lookbook on house. To start your quest, initiate a search of common, well-known styles such as mid-century modern, farmhouse, traditional, transitional, coastal, contemporary, bohemian, you can branch off from there. Whatever method you use to collect your photos, do it a little bit at a time to avoid overwhelm. Set a timer for 10 or 15 minutes Find looks you like and collect them until the timer goes off. Then take a look at your new stash and try to narrow it down to two or three of your favorites. Keep those and let go of the rest. After having a few sessions like this, you'll notice the things you tend to save the most will have similarities that instruct you on your taste. Step two. Determine the common thread between each image. What are those facets that keep coming up for you in your saved images? Are you drawn to a particular color palette? Do you love rooms that have lots of windows framing the natural environment outside? Are they rustic or do they have some polish to them or even some glam? Are they intimate and cozy or airy and bright? If it's tough to do this on your own, maybe you have a friend who could help you decipher the style themes they see recurring as you show them your photos. Step three, begin a concept board, either material or digital, based on your favorite theme and style. Once you feel good about the general direction you want your style preferences to take, it's time to create another board, a concept board, that narrows your favorite style details down even further in relation to the particular space that you'd like to redecorate. When I'm doing this for a client, I begin to loosely source products that would work well with their chosen style category and color ideas. We're not actually pulling the purchase trigger yet. But when selections in this phase of concept development have received their final approval, it is super empowering to know we've identified the pieces required and then we can move forward with excitement and confidence. As I'm sure you know, there is nothing like walking into a room that is a gorgeous representation of the person or family that lives there. If your interior spaces need a good dose of your personality to wake them up, do some style fishing to see what looks best sum up who you are. And if you need a hand, don't be afraid to reach out. I love helping people get their design projects going on the right foot. As always, if you're looking for more inspiration, you can act on right away, 
sign up for our weekly newsletter, and if you are the kind of person that would rather do it themselves, check out my free masterclass on the five-step method to decorate your home like a pro. I'll leave the links below. Take care.